If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, October 19th, 2012. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Today in the Phineas Monitor is a 2012 London gold medalist, and she has returned back to college life for her senior year at the University of Virginia. Lauren Purdue, welcome to the show. Thank you. So the last time we had a chance to sit down was just after trials. You had just qualified for London. What's life been like the past couple months? Life has been very good. Um, I'm back into college, my final year at UVA, and um, kind of getting back into the swing of things and back into training and, and school. And so it's, it's been very busy since London, but um, busy in a very good way. Yeah, well, that's a loaded question because a lot has been going on these past couple months. But Sorry. why don't we start off by talking about London, your first Olympics. Uh, you qualified in the 200 freestyle, so you swam on that prelim relay of the 4x200, and those ladies came back to crush it at night for, for the gold medal. Walk us through that race for you, or experience. Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience, um, you know, something that I've dreamed of since I was a little girl, and, you know, it was everything that I could have ever imagined it would be, and um, it was, you know, great being a part of that relay, and, and helping our team win gold and um, you know the girls that were on that relay are just you know great competitors and great teammates so I'm, I'm just really honored to be a part of that. Now we've talked to some other athletes about their thoughts on swimming in a relay in the morning not participating at night but still winning a gold silver bronze medal what are your emotions on holding that gold medal knowing that you swam in the prelim race of it? Yeah, you know, it, it really is, um, it's an amazing feeling still, and, and even though I did not, you know, get to compete in the final heat, um, it still means just as much to me, and, you know, it still is significant of many, many years of hard work and sacrifice that, that I've had to make um, with the sport of swimming, so, um, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm just honored to be a part of that and um, to be able to, you know, help USA win gold in that relay. Now, a big factor in your swimming, and we spoke about this last time, were all the back issues that you've been having. You had to sit out during college seasons. Um, how was your back through London? Um, you know, my back is, it was still kind of bothering me, um, you know, throughout um, the Olympic experience. And, um, you know, it's something that I've dealt with for the past year and a half to two years. So, um, you know, it's, it's very... Um, I guess, I guess, frequent thing for me to deal with the pain, and um, it, you know, was bothering me a, a bit in London, but not enough to really, you know, hold me back from competing, um, you know, at a high level. Well, we could talk a little bit more about that when we talk about college swimming coming up here soon, but overall, I think this is a fun question just to ask the athletes. Overall, what was the number one thing that you thought was the coolest or liked best from London? as an athlete? Um, I would say that my favorite part of London was the um, opening ceremonies. Um, it, you know, I went back and forth between, you know, deciding to walk in the opening ceremonies or not walking, and I actually made the decision last minute to walk, and it was probably the best decision I've ever made. It was a phenomenal experience, just beautiful, I mean, just took my breath away. It was amazing. Were you debating because you it was a rest issue of wanting to stay off your legs? Yes, yeah. I swam, I think, five days after after that. So, um, yeah, it was kind of an issue, you know, whether or not it would tire my legs out too much, but it ended up being fine. How many people overall made that decision on the USA swim team to walk, would you say? Was it a split decision? Uh, I think it was about... This is just an estimate. I think maybe about 20 people, 25 people decided to walk. Okay, very nice. All right, so overall experience was great. Walk away with a gold medal. Now, there was a little bit of buzz back here in the States on some celebrity gossip news. 
Now, are you planning on taking a trip to visit LeBron out in Miami anytime soon? I'm not, no. And, you know, he probably doesn't even know who I am at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, he, he was a great sport, and you know, it was an honor meeting him. Well, we would be remiss to not bring that up, so uh, thanks for being a good sport <laughs> about that. All of right, course. so moving on, you're back on the college campus, entering your senior year. Now, what are the emotions going into that with your final year of collegiate swimming coming off of a huge high? Yeah, it's um, kind of bittersweet. Um, I've enjoyed, you know, my four years here at UVA. It's been an amazing experience. And coming back from the Olympics is, I'm still kind of in a dreamlike state. And, um, you know, it's, it's been kind of a difficult transition, you know, coming back into college swimming. But um, I have great teammates here, great supportive coaches. So it's, it's, been, it's been a fun ride, and I'm really looking forward to this, um, my, my final season at UVA. What's been difficult about your transition, would you say? Um, it's, it's, it's hard not being with, you know, my USA teammates that I spent a month and a month and a half with. Um, it's, it's hard not seeing them anymore and not swimming with them or training with them anymore. Um, so that, that's been kind of hard for me. Um, I miss all of them a lot and, um, you know, hopefully I will be able to compete on another um, USA team again with them. All right, well, that leads us into plans after college. So once the season is over here in March, you'll continue, you'll continue swimming? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, you know, have had to think about that a lot. And um, right now I am focusing on this last year of college swimming and then probably, you know, taking year by year and seeing how my back is feeling and, you know, how I am feeling mentally. And um, so I... Right now, I am hoping that, you know, I will make it another four years to Rio. Very nice. Well, we'll be pulling for you to make it another four-year stretch. Yeah. Looking at this college season, do you think you're going to, I think we can assume we'll see you in the 200 freestyle. Are you going to try to keep it to the sprint freestyle events this year? Yeah, um, I will be competing in the 200 freestyle, um, the 100 freestyle, and the 50 freestyle. So those are my... You know, you know, that's those are my three events that I swim. So um, I'm hoping, um, you know, I can have a better 150 this year. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now that 200 freestyle is going to be a stacked event. A yeah. lot to look forward to. Georgia coming back with Allison Schmidt and also Megan Romano, who won the event last year, set the American record. So knowing that's out, out in front of you, that's got to be some good motivation. Yeah, it is. It's it's really exciting, and uh, um, you know, both of those girls are phenomenal athletes, and um, I've had the honor of training and swimming with Allison Schmidt, and so I'm, I'm really excited to see how to see how this event goes. All right, well, well, we are looking forward to it as well. Good luck this year. I hope your back uh, feels feels good in the water, and we'll see you at NCAA's. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, Lauren. Bye. That is Lauren Purdue in the Finise Monitor. That wraps up today's morning swim show. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with all the latest news. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Thanks for watching.